Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing where we stamp to cheer the brokenhearted and connect my friends to Jesus. So excited to see you here today. I am going to share with you some ideas with a new paper pumpkin kit. Here's to you. It's the one for March 2021. And you know what? This kit actually amazed me. At first, I was a little hesitant when I opened it. What am I going to do with this kit? But now I have so many ideas that honestly, this is part one because part two, three most likely are going to come. I just cannot do it all in one life, but I am super excited that you're here. I welcome you to this group and also to my Stamp of Blessing YouTube channel. Hope you hop over there and say hello and subscribe as well. At the end, I have a message that I'm just like, so full of passion to share with you. It is in my heart and I think it's going to guide you and lead you into a week of victory. So wait till the end. Okay, let's switch the camera, start stamping. This is a good day. God bless. Hello. Okay. okay, so I have a guide for you and I am so excited, but this is the kit and many of you already got it. Some of you are still waiting for it. This is the March kit. Here's to you instructions. And you know what? I am going to inspire you today to actually get it out of the box if you already got it and get stamping i am super excited with all the ideas the lord has been giving me and i say the lord jesus because every good and perfect gift comes from above everything good and exciting in my lives actually comes from him there's nothing out of me it's all of him and i give him all the glory so i am super excited to share with you these ideas i love paper pumpkin look they already gave us some alternates in here for those who love alternates okay today i really just have to get you out of the of the boat because some of you are like texting me and saying i'm not sure about this kit it's kind of weird <laughs> think you're gonna love it okay first of all before i go into that let me show something show you something right here it says paper pumpkin here's to you i went ahead and i look what is the meaning of here's to you and i found that it means a salute to someone or something the phrase nearly always used as a toast to someone or something is a shortening of here's a health to you and has been used since the late 1500s haha -ha, you were not expecting a history class today <laughs> <laughs> but we got it there we go even shakespeare used in romeo and juliet here's to my love <laughs> and then salute means to address with an, with expressions of kind courtesy or honor to give a sign of respect courtesy or goodwill too and i love the last one to express commendation of praise and you know what that is what i've been called to do to praise the lord jesus so i started praying and asking how can i use this kit to bring you honor and to bring your name on high. Ha ha! Thank you that you ask because I have many, many points with this kit. First of all, this wonderful kit, and you see it on my notes in here, actually brought a set of stencils. I want to share with you the stencils that it brings. Okay, this is one of the stencils, and this is a 4x4, four four, okay? I put a little piece of 4x4 four four cardstock behind it so you could see what actually is. These are some mountains. Here's the other side of the mountains. And then you can put this like snow on top of it. And I'll, I'll show more of that later. Here's another one. Absolutely a keeper. Who does not like stencils of clouds? You can use them in so, so many ways. So we are going to be checking on that as well. Then we have the stars, which are wonderful for either baby cards or congratulations, graduation cards, and also for the star of Christmas type of cards, you know, for Christmas cards. I love and the last but not least there's four look at that an amazing sunburst okay um the sun hello the sun the son of god <laughs> i just get so excited for the little things i i see jesus in everything i do i'm sorry if you are not a follower but i just i think my entire audience knows that i'm crazy about him and i can see him in everything and everywhere and paper pumpkin has been one of my favorite kits or favorite uh things to to display as a stamping up demonstrator so i just like to find jesus in all of it and i think you're gonna see it today okay so besides getting a free set of stencils we also got a new sponge actually very cool because hello is the idea 
to use it with the stencils, okay? <laughs> you love the sunburst, I see, Filomena. Thank you, thank you. I love that you have a sponge, okay? And I think we're gonna be uh, working on it. One of the first things I plan to do with this sponge is actually cut it, and you may think, oh my dear, what is she doing? Well, I'm going to cut it, and I may cut it just in four pieces for now. Yeah, it may not be totally perfect, I don't care, it's fine, okay? It's fine. I, I'm sure I can find more sponges, but I'm going to cut it. Don't be afraid of cutting your sponge because that way you can actually use it for different colors and you can even cut it even more if you wish, okay? The idea is that you can hold it through here, put the color, not black, but I have black right in here, and then you dab, dab, dab. That's what you are going to be doing in a little bit. You can I'm not even sure if I'm doing that today. I'm just so excited. But there, I cut it. Don't get afraid. Okay, so you have the set of stencils. You have an awesome sponge. You have beautiful envelope liners, which actually can be, if you have not opened your kit, you have to go get it, okay? This is a beautiful Calypso Coral. You have the absolutely gorgeous stamp set. Here's to you exclusively for you. And then this is what I do with my kids when I don't even know where to start. Look at that, it even came with some glue dots. But this is what I usually do. This kit particularly comes with eight cards, okay? So what I did is that I put mainly most of everything that I need for every card inside the envelopes already, okay? So, and what I mean with this paper right here, the beautiful envelope liners, is that it actually comes with liners for your envelopes. So check this out. This is the card. This is the card, okay? And is the card base already printed. Love that, okay? Easy peasy lemon squeezy makes our creativity go super fast. And then they came with this nice little liners that kind of fit right there. And look how awesome and beautiful that is. It just makes this, and you fold it, but I'm not gonna fold it yet because I have too many ideas for this paper. I love this, I love this. Now, I very rarely use envelope liners, I'll be honest with you. I see this as an extra gift for me. I see it as new designer search paper, woohoo! <laughs> That is me. I see the signature source paper when I see this. So I'm sure that I'm going to use maybe one as a liner, but I don't do all my cards at once usually because too many ideas come afterwards and then I'm like, oh man. So here's the other designer source paper that is called an envelope liner, okay? And they say that it comes with eight. It's right here at the back. It says printed envelope liners and you should have, I believe, eight cards right here. This is the other card. Look at the colors, my ladies. Isn't this colors amazing? This is pretty peacock. Pretty pretty peacock. 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 I don't know how to say that word. Peacock. Pretty peacock. Okay. Is this marvelous bluish, greenish, something, whatever. And this is going to go here. And this is supposed to be the liner. But again, that is sweet paper for me. So I'm going to put it right here for now. Okay. It also comes with some very beautiful labels. Look, it's just little rectangles, little ones and big ones. It comes with die cuts, which I love, my ladies, because I have a baby and three more kids. And sometimes I feel like lately I just stamp in a rush. This is easy for me because I don't even have to use my stamping cut and emboss. I just have it. I take them off like that. And for those who are beginners or don't have much time like me, you can just pop them out and you're happy. And then it comes with some very cute... Um, let me show you. These are some more die cuts that you get to pop out and put in one of your cards. Now, let me put all this in here. Since these are die cuts, I decided just to leave them all together. Okay. And put all this. Let me see. Put all this here. Is this this one? Yeah, this one's this one. Aha. These are wonderful. So besides getting the envelope liners, you also get super fast cards. And why do I say that? Because I went to the instructions and I said, okay, Jessica, if you are a new Paper Pumpkin subscriber and you have no idea how to do this, you would open your instructions, read them, stamp sentiments on white labels. Okay, remember the labels I shared with you? This one's right here. Ha ha ha. Okay, and then it says stamp birds on card front. And I went to look for my, for my stamps and look, these are little birdies right there. And you're supposed to stamp them with a Calypso Coral as well as your sentiments. Then it says... Wrap 26 inches of linen thread around printed card front and adhere to base, la la la. So right there, and it came with some wonderful linen thread. I 
love when they come with this. Oh, also dimensionals. Love that. Okay, they even tell you how much you have to cut. And here it tells you to attach nested 16 inches. So you measure 16 inches and you put it like a little nest, a little circle. And then you attach it to the back of one of your labels. And what else? Add white labels with glue dots of mini dimensionals to the card front. And I think you're done. <laughs> So <laughs> they pretty much send the trees and the flowers and a bunch of other sentiments for you to use, maybe even for the inside of the cards. But your stamping on this kit is not a bunch. It's the sentiments and the little birdies. You see, there's birdies right there. Sentiment, sentiment, sentiment. Birdies right there. Sentiment. And then you kind of put everything together with your dimensionals on this card. I can tell that those labels, that's this little strips right here. So these are super simple, easy cards to make. Now, if you are like me and many, many um, Paper Pumpkin followers, my dear, I am sure you have like 115 ideas like me to make with this. The coolest thing about this kit is that it comes with a lot of ideas for you using stencils. And I think even Stamping Up Paper Pumpkin leaders have shared some already in their Instagram page and in their Pinterest and their YouTube channel. You can go and check some of this. Just kind of go and type Paper Pumpkin March Kit. Here's to go. And you'll see the official once and oh my dear, all my other demonstrators are already post posting a bunch of stuff. Now, if I see this, it says, I want you to think, how are you going to use this kit particularly? Okay, this is my question for you today. This is all the ways you could use this kit. And I wanted to put it on writing so you see it because we use our eyes all the time and it's a blessing. Okay, you can make manly happy birthday cards. I think this would be an amazing idea for a man's card. Okay, there are like nature outdoors dear god made man to love the outdoors that just happens and in general i think 99% 99.99 of men love to be outdoors some not i'm sure but my husband loves the outdoors um another one is the easter cards okay and that's the theme that i'm gonna go for today this kid when i saw it i saw that sun and i'm like oh the son of god yes and amen i need to make some easter cards with this so you're gonna see me go through that in a little bit you can also make some father's day cards it has trees and all you need is a sentiment that says happy father's day or something like that or even the one that says hey Here's to you. You know, it's a salutation. It's, it, it's a dressing honor to someone and respect. And then all the best for a happy, healthy, prosperous year or may your journey. Let me put it here. It's so tiny. You need a magnifying glass. May your journey through life take you to many new and exciting places. Isn't that good? This is really good for a graduation, for Father's Day, or for happy birthday for men. And I say men because this is pretty for women too. But hello, we get a lot of flowers through the year and a lot of cutesy stuff. And uh, when you have a kid that kind of works for men, go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we have rest reminders. I Sometimes we need to remind people to slow down, like you know I've done in several occasions, like with my snails a couple of kits ago. Love the slow down type of reminders. And I have that reminder on my windowsill because, <sighs> can you tell I don't slow down easy? <laughs> I'm going too fast. And then encouragement. The sun will come up again. And you need to remind people of that, particularly this season with so many losses, with so much going on, with so many health issues and concerns. We are heavy. Our, our, our communities, our nation is just heavy, burdened with so much. You need to carry the love and the rest of the Lord to others. And I think this kit is perfect for it. Now, comes with color coordinations, Bumblebee. The bumblebee color is this yellow one. Let me bring it out for you so you can see it. Oh, this is Mango Melody. <laughs> I'm bringing the wrong one. This is it. This is it. Bumblebee. Bumblebee is such a... It's like a deep yellow, okay? But I like that it's sunny, it's happy, it's Easter, Eastery. Is that a word? Eastery? I don't know. But I have another paper. Then Calypso Coral is sunny and happy. And it's the one that actually came with the with the ink spot. So that is a beautiful, beautiful, one of my favorite colors. We have Old Olive, which is a very nice green, kind of like old. <laughs> I say it old because I had Old Olive for like forever since I've been a demonstrator. And it's a deep color, all um, um, olive. Hey, there you go. Petal Pink is this soft color right here. 
right there. I have the Pretty Peacock, which is the beautiful one that I showed you already. The Seaside Spray is that very light blue and a soft, rest, calm, thinking of you type of Easter. And then Crumb Cake, they, they don't even put it in the back, but the, the envelopes are that, you know, card box type of um, color and I, I kind of, it's familiar, it's between crumb cake and soft suede colors and stamping up, okay? Now, what do you need to start? And sorry for the long intro introduction, but I wanted to kind of share with you my mindset and where I'm going today. I would suggest that you have a wet towel or wet wipes at hand if you plan to use your stencils, okay? I have my flushable wipes right here. Also, cut your sponge and dab when you use it. Here you go. You have a piece of cardstock, you put some color in it. You could do that like that. And then you dab instead of doing like this, you better dab so that the entire color keeps filling up, okay? If you do this, your stencil most likely will move with you at some point and that makes it a little harder. Also have some scrap paper. Here, I, I cut one of my placemats, okay, in different, and I can use the back, certainly, to have some scrap paper so that when you put your stencil, you can, you know, any color that comes out of your particular card is not messing up your area. Also, support your stencil, and I'll give you a couple of ideas with that in a little bit. Um, painter's tape. I brought some painter's tape because, hello, you need to hold it. And second, I have my stamp apparatus, and I want to show you that right away. Let's try something quick here before I actually start making my cards, okay? Because I want to get you stamping. Okay, so I went ahead and I put a scrap piece of paper. This is just a little puppy, paper pumpkin one, okay? And I put some painter's tape on my washi, my, my washi, on my uh, magnets. And also you can use washi tape. That was in the back of my mind. If you don't want to use painter's tape, you can use washi tape to hold your stencils now in this case let me get a let me get a fun one i don't know what do i want to get i want to get this one because it's so beautiful it's so cool and i actually want to try it so if i do this and i do this it's just a different way of holding it you could hold it with painter's tape around the whole thing okay or washi tape but i think this would be so fun to do so i'm just going to show you with a bumblebee how this would look okay so let me get all in the camera and we are just trying our cool very cool sponges okay so i'm just gonna go like this grab some of that color okay and you can either start i don't i don't think i have this position entirely straight so i'm gonna do that I put this here to hold it in place now this one and i'm using this one because i think this is the most challenging one because this moves you see it moves so if you move your sponge around it you may have a big mess <laughs> so i'm just um excited to dab 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 in and you can dab 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 and you can certainly start in the center okay and i'm gonna hold it here even more and you can kind of go like that Okay, so I think I'm loving the idea of using my stamp apparatus to hold my thing. This I can cut again. I can cut that. But hey, I think you can make... Oh my dear, you can make eight little sponges for color. So we are in for good. I'm going to put this here. Let's see how this actually looks. I'm going to pull out my little magnets, put them very far away from each other. Oh man, that is cute. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. I love that it, it, it gives you a little, um, you see the stencil gives you a little thingy right here. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to get a wipey because I told you to have them closed so that you're not messing everything else up. Okay, and I'm going to clean mine. And this one, I'm going to clean it toward the center a bit because I don't want it to, to get all awful. Okay, I'm getting all the color out of my stencil. And if you have another dry piece of um, 
towel, you can certainly just dry it right away. I'm gonna put it on the side, okay? I'm gonna put this on the trash can. But I think that looks gorgeous for any card that you make. So today you know that you can use that. And mix some colors, even if you want to do like a rainbow type of looking sun, that would be beautiful. Even if you want to make some, uh, I just, there's so many ideas. <laughs> I just have so many ideas. I was like, Lord, how am I going to do today's video? You just bump and like, like dump on me too many ideas. And now I don't know how to pick. I went to have devotion with the kids and I realized my focus is to be on Jesus. So that is what I'm going to do right now. So I want to, when I came to my paper here, it says, if you don't like this kit, I'm going to recommend something to you. You don't like it, right? This is for later. It's a secret. There's a bunch of techniques behind this part <laughs> that I know I won't be able to do today. So I will bring this part next week and we will be exploring a ton of them because there's so many and so, so many cool ideas for the stencils. You cannot miss it. But if you, for some reason, don't like this, this kit right now, I want you to open your kit and at least try one card. I want you to choose your theme. And my theme today is Easter because Easter is coming in just a few more days not even well weeks maybe two weeks exactly less than two weeks focus on one color you know i really like this and if you um want to focus on the pretty peacock you can as well focus on the color that you like that goes with this set pick what you wish to use from it and give away the rest and i think i'm gonna do a little bit of that today so i want to share what i'm gonna do then you could also mix with a set of your own and love and I brought some sets because since my focus is gonna be Easter I brought the his love one I love that cross I brought the springtime joy I love the lamb absolutely I brought the gift of hope there's so much and then I brought timeless tulips and if you remember it says happy Easter happy spring happy happy everything i love all of them so i just put them on the side and i said lord i have only a limited amount of time what do i do focus on jesus that is my my first um inspiration for the day mix a set you own and love and make it as is and give to someone who would use it so let's just say that you are not totally in love with it i think as soon as you start making it it will work you will love it too oh pam said she loves the lamb even that that is so cute. We're going to stamp it today. Okay, so no more talking. Let's start stamping. Let's start doing. I have so much in my heart for you today, but I need to hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Let's put this to the side and let's bring two of my cards, okay? Or two of my prepared um, envelopes right here. So I'm going to start with, let me put my stencils over here. If you notice, the thing doesn't even use the stencils. <laughs> <laughs> the stencils is for you to keep going and keep creating okay so we have the here's to you i'm going to put all my thingies on this side i have this beautiful paper and i have my card now i really really like this really really like it and when i saw the picture right here i was in love with that that sun it just makes things so beautiful so i want to really work on this card because what i really want to do and i'll tell you right away is I want to mix it with that cross, okay? The sun, the cross, it just, just I don't know, it kind of goes with it. It could even go with my pretty peacock. So you see, we can do... But then this has like water in here. I'm not sure if the cross will go in the water. I thought of using my lamb with that one. And I thought of using my cross with this one. Now, how am I going to put this? I'm not entirely sure. But I think they go well together. And again, you need to go find what is that you want to do. I gave you a huge list. I'll be posting this very soon on my blog or even here. I have to totally cover that part because it's too many ideas <laughs> to explore. But we will be exploring them together. Okay, so give me grace. So I do like that they have this in here. And they have one of these that you put on the top. And they have one of these that you put at the bottom. They also have, um, trying to create my own thing. You make it your own, you know, you make paper pumpkin what you want it to be. I don't, um, I'm, I love Christian stamps and everything, but I use everything and everything I do is to encourage others and to honor the Lord. 
So here's to you, Jesus. That's what it's called. Here's to you. So <laughs> I'm making it a here's to you, Jesus card. Okay. ladies you you have to know something i am not the most talented i am not the most organized i am not the strongest but god is and that's why i keep coming back because even though my videos are not perfect my cars are not the most amazing things in the whole entire world <clears throat> what i do honors the lord and blesses my audience and god is so good God is so good. I I was praising the Lord the other day and I created a song. I'll sing it to you. It says, Jesus, 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 when I am weak, you're strong in me. Isn't that beautiful? The Lord is so good giving us ideas. I will seek your face. I will seek your will. I will seek your voice. And I receive your peace. <laughs> Jesus is amazing. Okay, so we made one card so far. It took me forever, but I had a long introduction. And I love the Lord Jesus. So this is the first card. You can add your own twist to them. Today my twist is Easter. Now let's do one more. I know it's late. What time do I have? I have like 10 minutes to make another card. Oh, that's a lot, right? That's a lot of time. I could do it. Look at that. She's looking at me like saying, come on, I want to be in the video today. So there, <clears throat> we have a beautiful card that is supposed to have a happy, happy, happy. Okay, remember that one? Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. That's what it says. Let's see. Yeah, and it's using all the little ones, all the, the this ones.
Okay, ladies, I finally finished. <laughs> what do you think of these ideas? You totally have to share with me what you think of today's video and what you think of these ideas. They're very, very different of what I usually do on my first Paper Pumpkin videos, but I wanted to bring the hope of Jesus and I wanted to see, I want you to see that you can use Paper Pumpkin however you want. And I gave you many suggestions today. So I hope to hear from you before below. Okay, so let me hear from you below. In the meantime, I want to share the Word of God with you because it's what fuels me and I am so excited to share it. So I was praying this morning with my kids. I just, I kept replaying the song, Worthy is the Lamb, because I wanted to be very intentional in focusing on the Lord and focusing my eyes on Him. It's not about the projects. It's, for me, is about sharing the creativity, but also sharing the message. And... Um, I read the word 2 Corinthians 2.14, it says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the savor of His knowledge by us in every place. And I love this Bible verse because in Spanish, it actually, as I was growing up, I remember it as He takes us from triumph to triumph. And I went and looked for it in Spanish and I could not find that Bible verse at all. Like, I don't know how in the world I have in my brain that that Bible verse says, from triumph to triumph. It actually says that he always takes us in triumph in Christ Jesus. Even in Spanish, it says that. And then I found Proverbs 4.18, the path of the righteous is like the morning sun shining ever brighter till the full light of day. This is your life and this is my life. And I need to remind you today that there is victory in the cross of Jesus. There is victory because there's resurrection after that death, after that sacrifice, after all that he, that he, that he had a burden on his shoulders for you and for me, for the shame, for the guilt, for the things that you've done wrong, for all the mistakes, for all that burden that you carry, that even is sadness or, or sickness or anything that is putting you down, Jesus went to the cross for that so that you live and walk in freedom and I'm so excited to just get back to the cross I need to remind you today to get back to the cross and as I was just meditating on this song it says worthy is the lamb seated on the throne crown you now with many crowns you reign victorious as he reigns victorious you and I can reign victorious and that's what I love about it when I used to live in Newark Delaware a few um, a few years back I was in a prayer service and the Lord gave me a word not only for me but for other people and many times the Lord gives me this word and I just start writing 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 and as I was praying this morning the Lord just brought this to me right away he is the God of the more the much and the many and I just that just resonated so powerfully in my heart because I need to remember the God that I served. He is the God of the much, the more, and the many. And I was like thinking of that. And I'm like, I love that, Lord. I remember you giving me that word. But then this morning, he gave me another part of it. And he said, I am not the God of the less, the little, the little, and the lack. He is not the God of lack. He is not the God of the less and the little, okay? He doesn't take away. He gives you. He makes you. He brings you up. He's, he just embraces you. Even through times of pruning, you will always feel the love, the love of the Lord. You will always feel the embracing of the Lord. Even in the hardest of times, He keeps being the God of the much, the more, and the many. And I want you to remember the words that I just read today. He calls you a conqueror. He will take you from triumph to triumph. He will keep making you grow in His timing. Trust Him. Rest in this truth. And remember what Romans 8, 37 says. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. So you're not just a conqueror. You're more than a conqueror because of the cross and his sacrifice. You have a great time creating, my ladies. Make some Easter cards. Remind people that Jesus is there for them. You have superpower in your hands to change someone's reality and bring them to the light, bring them to Jesus Christ. I love you. I appreciate your time that you've given me, and I hope that these words carry you through the week. Thank you so much. Leave me your comments below. I'll see you next week. Ciao, ciao.